Hey, Fire Family. What's up, Fire Fam? Happy Thursday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collective reading. This is going to be a general reading. It is a collective reading. It is for all zodiac signs. So please do only take what resonates with you guys. Never force it to fit your situation. Alrighty. So let's hop in. Um, we're going to start out with some Archangel Michael messages. Let's see what Archangel Michael wants you guys to know. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Really quick before we hop in, y'all. The September box. It ships out this weekend. And I think I have like 10 more boxes left. If y'all are interested, the link is in the description box below. Also pinned in the comments. The September box comes with three oils, three sprays, a manifestation worksheet, and you guys get a free fall prediction reading, okay? So definitely check it out. Um, tarot class starts next week, and right now, tarot class is on sale for $99, okay? I've never went that low, um, so grab it. It's only a few more spots left, y'all. And what else? I think that's it. So we are about to hop in. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Archangel Michael, please hop into this reading. What does the collective need to know? And as I'm saying that, guess what? It's 444. Let's see. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. We have let go of fear now. It says Archangel Michael. Please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. All right? So Archangel Michael is here to help you guys release and let go of fear. Uh-oh. We have detached from the situation. It says, Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me in this situation, okay? So, um, Archangel Michael is also helping you guys detach from a situation at this time. All right, so some of you guys may have been needing to detach from something. You guys can call Archangel Michael in and help you guys detach. And then we have, let's see, write about your thoughts and feelings, okay? So thank you for helping me. It says, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. All right. So it says, write about your... Okay, so you guys are needing to write about your thoughts and feelings, okay, um, at this time. If you guys are needing help with detaching from a situation, it's saying that you guys can call on Archangel Michael. Okay, sorry y'all, that was the long person. Okay. So let's see. Let's pull a self-care message. And then Archangel Michael wants you guys to let go of fear. Let's see what your self-care message is. All right, we have meditate, okay? So, you guys are needing to meditate at this time, all right? Y'all are needing to go within and meditate at this time, y'all, okay? So, meditate, write out your true thoughts and feelings, all right? Detach from the situation and release and let go of fear, all right, y'all? So, let's hop in. Let's pull some cards. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, please guide me through this reading for the collective. What do they need to know in here when it comes to their love life? I guess we're going to do love, our general, whatever comes out, comes out, Spirit. So, you guide me. Whatever they need to know. Whatever the collective needs to know. Whatever the collective needs to know at this time. Okay, let me see. What does the collective need to know? Oh, okay, he's here. That's fine. Okay. All right. All right, so we got the world card reverse, okay? So something has... Okay, let me see. 
king of pentacles there could be a Taurus or a capricorn in your life or a fixed sign the higher fountain reverse the seven of wands reverse someone doesn't think something is over between y'all they haven't fully given up but it's like you guys have somebody feels like yeah somebody doesn't want to close this cycle with you somebody wants to stay in this cycle or like somebody is trying to get their finances together or something like that let me see queen of pentacles see somebody feels like y'all are so this is a couple this is a relationship we have the page of swords the knight of pentacles reverse and the two of pentacles see somebody is not ready though somebody is not ready for a relationship or somebody feels like somebody is not ready for a relationship or some type of commitment okay somebody feels like they can't um keep up or somebody may feel like somebody broke some type of promise or they just not ready for a commitment a higher font reverse with not a principle reverse means like that's somebody that is not ready for like marriage they're not ready to settle down they're not ready to commit they're not ready to have children they're not ready to like you may fight like this person is not ready to you know be down you know like you don't feel like they're devoted enough you don't feel like they're committed enough you don't feel like they have what it takes to keep this relationship going okay um, now, for others of you, somebody could be getting laid off or fired from their job, but this would be like a government job. This would be like at an institution, a school. It could be a doctor, somebody that works for the city, for the state, something like that. Somebody's financial situation is changing. Somebody's financial situation is about to change, mm -hmm, but it's not changing for the good. Somebody, something is changing for somebody. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys that are worried about work, why is this higher font with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Could be a Taurus, Virgo. Yep, see, that is the truth. Okay, so some type of contract is ending for somebody. So you guys can be like some type of nurse or traveling nurse or, um, because the night are messages or it's like movement. Like, so this can be like a traveling nurse or somebody that travels for work or you guys can have some type of contract and it's going to end. And I feel like you guys think it's going to be renewed and it's not. Ooh, let me see. Yeah, because somebody feels like they're safe and secure. And there's going to be some unexpected news that comes. And it's about a contract. See the emperor in reverse. That would be your boss. This is somebody that can't fulfill another contract or can't put you in another contract. Okay? Like, they, they kind of feel like it's out of their control, out of their hands. They kind of, they definitely feel powerless in this situation. They feel like they don't know what to do um, or maybe how to tell you yeah um give me one second fire fam i do apologize the long guy is here and i told him that he can just cut the grass while i'm here but he keeps messaging me and now he's at my door so let me just um get with him for one second and i'll be right back y'all i'm sorry all right y'all i'm back i'm super sorry so yeah so like if you guys are um in like some type of contract job let me pull up, let me pull a message because it's like some type of contract can't be fulfilled or there's something like that. Let's see. Why is, what is up with this contract or this job? What is this about? Why does the manager feel? Communicate. See, I told you. So it's like, share your ways to speak your truth will show your authenticity and expression. You have a talent. So like you have what it takes. Like you have the talent. Like they want to give it to you. But for some reason, the boss, whoever is in control, they i feel like it's somebody over them or they kind of feel powerless they kind of feel like they don't know what to do or they can't help you in this situation um let me see why i have to communicate here see look king of wands reverse see problem with business or work that's the king of wands reverse so there's a problem here there's an issue or you guys had an issue with somebody and even though you performed very well or you did a really good job you guys could have got into it with like the higher up or like somebody that was on the team or something like that because somebody is complaining about you somebody is saying that you work really hard but they're also complaining about you but it would be more so like your attitude or something like that so for some of you guys that's why i do feel like you're going to get something else with the queen of pentacles here i feel like you will get something else let me see why is the king of pentacles here mm, not a cup reverse the knight of pentacles yes yeah, something will eventually come in like you guys will get something else but it's not gonna bring in the same amount of money because i feel like you guys really did look up with this job but hopefully something turn around turns around and goes in your favor with this i'm really trying to look into it to make sure everything looks good 
you know, like, or something's going to turn around. Going to the night, not the night, going to this justice card. See the five of cups. I told you there's going to be like some type of sadness or disappointment when it comes to a job or some type of contract. Four of cups is here. Four of cups, five of cups. You have the six of cups. Something will come, page of cups and offer. So something could come within six days or six weeks. You know, um, Connor, mommy's working. Um, something could come in like six days or six weeks, y'all. But I just still feel like something isn't fair. Um, I feel like what they're, I don't know. It's like something happened. Y'all could have had a run in with somebody or some type of disagreement, y'all. I'm here. I'm just trying to get this other deck out um, that I wanted to use with the uh, daily reading. So it could be that you maybe had a run in or a disagreement with somebody and they're acting funny right now. Okay. Um, let me see y'all. Yeah. So I wanted to use this deck. It's called Haters Exposed. So let's see what this is about. Because I definitely feel like there's somebody that is hating or somebody did something. Let me see. Causing un look, see, causing unexplained body pain and num and numbness. So somebody could have this. Somebody could just be upset. Like you did, you made somebody feel some type of way. You could have said something because we have to communicate. And maybe you guys are somebody like you could be somebody that's very vocal, right? You could just express how you really feel, you know. And you said something and somebody doesn't like that. Why is the communicate card here? For hey, look, who this is? Look, see, envious of your career and the money you make. So somebody went back and said something. So what happened was y'all were talking to somebody at work and somebody went back and said something and this person is already envious and jealous of what you make. You could possibly make more money than them and they're envious and they're jealous and they went back to the boss and they told them things that they didn't know and somebody felt like you loved the job. And not saying that you didn't love it. Maybe y'all, like I said, got into it and you said a couple things. You know how you be at work like, oh, these motherfuckers tripping today. They got me fucked up. You could have said anything. You know what I'm saying? Who's to say what it is? That you said, but you said something and somebody is envious of you and didn't want you to be there. Look, they are mad because you pay no uh, mind to them. So it could be somebody that you talk to, but at the same time, like, it's like maybe you just vented to them, but you really don't talk to them, but you do. And maybe they want to be more than just, you know, working together, co-workers. They want to be like friends outside of work or something like that. Or it can just be, like I said, your manager or boss or somebody feeling some type of way because maybe they didn't know you felt this type of way. Oh, it says you cut them off and they are still watching. So maybe y'all were cool and they just know some stuff, you know, and then you stop paying attention to them and then they became envious and told. It says the per the person causing you negativity is an air sign. Look, they are turning others against you. What did I just say? See? They're turning people against you and at the job. And they went back to the manager and said something and now they're changing their mind about something with the work. All right, so that's for those of you that got a work issue. That's why you're going through what you're going through at work. Let's look into this love situation here because somebody feels like, um, let me see. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Somebody feels like there's some unfinished business, but somebody can have a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn coming into their life. Somebody that is a boss, somebody that is self made, a boss, they got it going on. Somebody is, okay, so as somebody is moving on, somebody is trying to come back and return. There can be a water sign trying to come back into your life. We got the six of pentacles. Ooh, y'all gonna have to make some type of decision. Some of y'all might be giving into both situations, but I also feel like whatever is going on, it's like, because somebody is coming into your life um, collective and they're about to spoil you. They're about to give a lot to you. The six of pentacles is here. And I feel like in this other situation, that's what you used to get. Like, that's what, like, this person used to spoil you, used to do things for you, but something could have changed, or, like, both are going to be, like, fighting for you and trying to spoil you or do stuff for you, so this person could be like, oh, let me take you out, oh, let me buy you this, or somebody is just showering you guys with a lot of gifts, okay? Or it could be, too, I'm about to clarify, that the person you're meeting is giving you what you've been wanting in a relationship, so maybe the person that's trying to come back around isn't as stable or doesn't have as much as this other person, yep, see, you feel like this new person matches you a lot more. But this person is stable. They got their shit together. Queen of Swords. Somebody is cutting somebody off. Somebody is like going, yep, see, look. And I'm not trying to say it like this. I'm not trying to be like, bro, <laughs> But it's like somebody is like, no, I'm cutting you off because like you couldn't do for me. Like you're not a provider. You couldn't do for me. And I don't feel like you're cutting. I don't, I don't, I'm not looking at it collective as if you're like, 
oh, I don't want to fuck with you because you don't have money or you couldn't do this or that. No, because I feel like y'all were with them. So y'all accepted them at their lowest or whatever. But I just feel like there's something about this new person that's going to make you want to cut off this person that's trying to come back. And you're going to just feel more happy or more content. Like, you're just like, okay, this is what has been missing. Like, I've been missing this when it comes to relationships. Like, because I'm always one giving. And now you're going to start receiving. Some of you guys are receiving. You're going towards something better. You're going towards an upgrade. You're like, this person is about to definitely take care of you. Give you a lot. Let me see. Why is this five of pentacles here with this queen of swords? Because somebody is cutting off somebody. Yep, see four wands reverse. Somebody is like, no, they're like, I don't want the relationship anymore. Somebody is like, it's just not going to work out. Somebody is breaking off some type of engagement, some type of relationship. Somebody could be moving out. Going to the four wands reverse. See the fool in reverse. Somebody had their chance and blew it. So you look at, you're also looking at it like you had your chance. Like you could have been changed our situation around and they didn't. And now this person wants to reach out to you. Somebody is going to reach out to you out the blue, out of nowhere. And this is like a lot of communication coming in. See how the background's blue? So it was like out the blue. Somebody is like about to reach out to you guys. Let me see. The Emperor. Ooh. Who's it going to be, Collective? Y'all got both of these men. Y'all got, ooh, okay. So, so one, of, one of these men are in love with you and somebody is like, like, like really attracted to you. And this can turn into like them falling in love with you. Hmm. What you going to do, Collective? Let's look at the energy for the new person versus this other person. Somebody's definitely trying to come back, but I feel like your energy has changed. Or I feel like you're just not, this is not what you want anymore. the new love we have standards it's okay to voice your standards so with the new person you can voice your standards meaning like you can tell this person what you are wanting and looking for and it's possible that they can meet your expectations give me messages for the new love command for the collective nobody is perfect including you allow grace to yourself and others so they're saying allow grace like they're saying this person may not be perfect but you're not either you know so don't be trying to be like, you know, be like all oh, extra picky. Like, oh, this, this, that, you know. Potential. Stay present so you can see where this goes. Okay. Give me one more message for the new love. We got space. Someone wants space. Give it time. So I feel like also with this, you guys can be in some type of separation. Or it can be that, um, let me see. Why is the space card here? Understanding your partner's love language and expressing yours will help this connection evolve. So it can be that you guys are going to be spending a lot of time with each other and it will get to the point where y'all will have to take a break from each other. Y'all will need space because once y'all start interacting and talking and going out and all that, y'all are going to be like this, okay? And it's y'all are going to always be with each other and under each other and y'all will need y'all space or y'all will have to create space. Like y'all will smother each other and all of that. All right, let's see. Messages for the past person. Oh, shit. Y'all know I don't take cards from the ground. Let me see. Music and trust. So, this person is coming in, telling you that you can trust them now and that they will be devoted to you. And with the music card, it says, listen to what your partner is saying through the music. So, they might be also sending you some messages, some songs. We have rejection. But see, this is somebody that rejected you or let you go. You are not rejected. You are being protected. So I'm also looking at it like this too. Conversation. So the universe could have separated you from this person on purpose. There was something that you guys asked for, collective. And I know this reading is it just seems very scattered. But there's something that you asked for and it's coming, it's coming to you, but through somebody else. And it's gonna have you guys really thinking at the end of the day, like, is this what I really want? Because when this person comes back, there's something that this other person is giving you. There's multiple things that this person is giving you that this person can't but this person does love you a lot and this person is finally ready to be like committed and devoted to you and it's kind of like a situation where you're like dang like so we had to wait five ten years for you to even get to this point where like this person is coming in and doing things that you should have been doing 
off rip. You get what I'm saying? So y'all are going to have to make some type of major decision or make some type of decision. Um, let's see. We have jealousy. They're going to be jealous of this other person. Our jealousy was a problem and issue in your relationship. Okay? And there can also be some people that don't want to see y'all together. We have fear. See? So we have sit with yourself. So this person was in fear, whereas this person is not in fear. This person is like, I know what I want, and I'm going after it. I can be the per. I can, whatever you're asking for, they're like, oh, I can be that person for you. I can show up for you in that way. You get what I'm saying? Let's see. Only you with the new person. So, wow. Someone sees you and only you as a person they want to be with. So, it's like this new person, how they're coming in. They already, they automatically know. They're just like, oh, that's what you want. That's what you need. Baby, I can give it to you. I can provide. I can love you that way. I can offer you that. This person, the ex person is willing to do that and used, used to do some of that stuff in a, at a, at a time, but they're not anymore. But now they're coming back. But you guys are just confused because you're like, damn, I didn't know it can be all so simple, all so easy. You're like, I knew this person for months and this person has already wowed me and did everything that... It took you five years to do, but then it's like, I feel like you guys have love here, but then it's like, there is a lot of potential and there is room for growth and this person only sees you. Whereas this person, maybe at one point in time, didn't only see you or there was just not a lot of growth. So I just feel like y'all got a lot of, to, a lot to think about collective. Like y'all really do. Like y'all have a lot to think about. Um, let's see where you are blocked at with the new person versus the ex. And then we're going to pull some more cards. Let's see, where are y'all blocked at when it comes to the new love? Where is the collective blocked at when it comes to the new love? We have, look, no good ones. Wow. That's crazy, y'all. I really don't even know what to say. Usually I give y'all some, I don't even know what to say, y'all. Honestly, because look, it says there is someone out there for you. Don't let this false belief make you miss out. So it's like, you guys are saying like, oh, there's no good ones out there. And this new one, this new person is a good one. But that's where you're blocked because you don't think that they're a good one. Or you may feel like, nah, like this is too good to be true. But it's not. Maybe it was just meant to happen that way. And then with the ex, let's see what's going on with the ex. Where are you guys blocked that with the ex? Where's the collective blocked that with the ex? Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, collective. This is juicy. What y'all going to do? Major decisions. <laughs> A major decision. <laughs> Let's see. Incomplete. Okay, wow. So with the X, it says you want someone who completes you, but you need to be whole on your own. So I just feel like if you're not whole on your own, it's like you wanted that person to make you feel whole and complete, and you feel like that person doesn't do that. So you feel like at times you don't know if this is your your other half, your better half. Okay. So that's where you are blocked at. And then I feel like the overall energy, new or old, everyone leaves. So it says choose partners who can commit to you and let yourself commit to them. So you may be scared that this person will leave if you go back with them and if you're confused. Or you may feel like this person is going to leave you again and you don't want to mess this up and then get back with them and they leave you. It could be something like that too. Okay. But let's see. Um, that was T. What else does the collective need to know? <laughs> What else does the collective need to know? What else does the collective need to know when it comes to their love life? What else does the collective need to know? I don't even know what else to say. The sun in reverse, you guys could be a Leo or be somebody that's unhappy. Right now, you guys are just over it, no longer wanting to waste your time. Somebody does want to finish what they started with you, but you guys may feel like they're lying. Somebody could be kind of cold and detached and not reaching out and saying nothing. And it could be that this person that is cold and detached, they want to reach out. They want to say something. They want to interact with you, but I feel like they're scared or ner nervous. Um... They could be scared or ner uh, scared or nervous. Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Because somebody is acting like they don't care and they really do care. I can't stand when people do that. Like they act like they don't care, but then they they really do. You just be like okay, whatever. Let me see. Yep. See. So they're hurt over the breakup between y'all. So they are acting kind of cold and distant. They are acting like an ass. Mm -hmm. They are two of pentacles in reverse. Yep. They don't know if they want to fully come back or commit to you guys. Like they don't know if they want to come back or or not. Like they don't know if they want to commit back to the relationship or not, but they miss you. Mm-hmm. There's still some type of imbalance. See, this is somebody that doesn't know if they want to commit or not. 
See, Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody, so it's like the way that your ex is acting, it's like they're acting as if they don't love you or care. The Five of Cups, they're sad, disappointed, you know, feeling the loss of, of this relationship. Um, we got the Ace of Wands. They're going to come out of this energy, but it's like they are being very cold right now and they really don't know what they want to do. So they're just sitting there and not doing nothing about it. They're not taking action, but it's like they want to. Knight of Swords to the King of Swords in reverse is like somebody that wants to say something, but they're just being cold. They're being detached. They're like... It's like one minute they can be like, oh, man, I should reach out and say this. And then the next minute they're like, nah, fuck it. Like, she don't care about me or nah, fuck it. She don't want me or oh, fuck it. I can't commit to her or oh, fuck it. It's like whatever it is that they're going through, it's like getting the best of them. Yep, see, the five, there's a lot of inner conflict here with the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. They're blocking themselves. They're in their own way. The hangman, see, stuck, stagnant, still, not moving. But then thinking about, the, but thinking about a commitment with you. The higher font. This can be a huge lesson for them too. And that can be why they're sitting still. Because maybe the universe wants them to sit like and be still and, and think about what they have with you or just think about the relationship or what happened in general. So they can just be in a still energy. It's for some of you guys, you will need to find some closure or like in this cycle. Because I feel like to them, for some of you guys, they may still feel like y'all are together and y'all are not. Or they may feel like Oh, like months may go by. And everybody, oh, we still together. She still love me. He still love me. Um, and somebody is going to possibly move on by then. Mm -hmm. They're going to see this is somebody in an emotional world, like in their feelings. How long are they going to be in this energy? For some of you guys, for at least a couple months. And then they're going to come back around as if nothing happened. As if y'all are in love. As if nothing happened. Like, you know, so for some of you guys, y'all are not going to talk or see each other for months. Three, four months. Let's see. Who is that? What's going on? Why is the sun card in reverse? The queen of cups in reverse. So you guys can be in your feelings a little bit about the situation. Kind of confused. Mm, both of y'all are king and queen of cups. Both of y'all are sad and depressed. Neither one of y'all trust each other right now. You can feel like this. Whatever happened, there was some, like, some type of unnecessary drama here. Or you feel like they're making things worse than what it is. Or they can feel like that's what you're doing. Both of y'all kind of have, like, these negative feelings towards each other. We got the Empress. But it looks like y'all are snapping out of it. Could be Libra or Taurus. Somebody is like, fuck it. If it's over, it's over. Let me see. We got the Page of Cups. Somebody is not going to speak up or say something until somebody gives them an apology. We got the Page of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. Somebody is going to find closure from within. We got the Seven of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands reverse. They already think that y'all are messing around and talking to somebody else anyway. They feel like you, they feel like you're doing your thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they feel like you're doing your thing. For some of you guys, they feel like you want revenge. They feel like you want revenge, you healing, you moving on, you know, you doing your thing and that you ain't thinking about them. Mm-hmm. And they sitting over here trying to heal and trying to get over you and they can't. They feel like they lost direction. They feel like their life is all fucked up in shambles. They feel blocked. All they can do is focus on the negative right now. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups in reverse. I don't think it's a third party. I don't feel like there's nobody else around them. Three of Cups in reverse can be somebody that feels backstabbed, betrayed by somebody. So they feel like you could have betrayed them for somebody else. Or they just feel betrayed by you. Or it could also be that the people that are around them are speaking very negative on your relationship. Are speaking very negative about you. And the things that they're saying is making them feel as if, like, you hurt them or betrayed them. So, it could be, like, they're around their family and friends. And they can be like, oh, fuck that bitch. She did it. She should be calling you. She should be doing this. Da, da, da. So, they're thinking very negative because of the people that are around them. Yep, because this is about gossip and threes of crowd. So, they're, if threes of crowd, that means that they told at least two people what's going on. And they're taking advice from this person and that person. Both, both, both people are telling them stuff. And I feel like it's keeping them confused. And then for some of you guys, they already, the people that they're talking to already got relationship problems and issues. So it's making them think even more negative and it's not helping the situation. See, to the cups reverse. They feel like this may not be able to be saved. Mm -hmm. Three of swords reverse. They feel like you're not going to forgive them. They feel like you will never forgive them. They're hurt as fuck. Trying to heal, but experiencing and going through the pain more than they are allowing themselves to heal. Two of swords reverse with the five of pentacles reverse. Things are going to change and turn around and get better for them emotionally, but they're all fucked up. Okay? Now, um, 
outside of the work situation let's see if y'all got any other haters let's expose y'all haters spirit could you expose the collective haters or give us a clue to who's hating on them right now so let's see we got tiger's eye helps with the ground and protect yourself confidence inner strength um willpower clarity so for some of you guys if you feel like you're under attack or you feel like somebody is trying to attack attack you or come for you you guys can use a tiger's eye okay and then we have venus retrograde dealing with insecurities appearances body image um worthiness relationships and sexuality so for some of you guys um the person that could be hating on you could be like your partner or somebody that you know that's insecure or they're insecure when it comes to their body they lack low self-esteem confidence um this can be somebody that's could also be obsessed with their body or their image and they can be hating on you guys somebody that's confused within their sexuality as well they can be hating on you guys we have they can't stand to see you shine so this can also be somebody that can't stand to see you shine this can also be somebody that was like a best friend or somebody that was really close to you because we have venus here and venus is the card venus is the sign of love even though it says venus retrograde we're looking at the main sign it can be love i mean because venus rules love like you know and it also could be a libra or you can be a libra that is getting headed on or a libra could be hating on you and trying to steal your shine or wants what you want or have um it says they can't stand to see you shine let's see and then we have remote viewing looking into your life with their mind so somebody could be like looking into your life and like watching you like a tv like they're watching a movie like they watch your every move whoever this person is or they know your every move they're watching your every move we have causing chaos and fights in your love connection so somebody could have put a spell on your relationship and caused chaos and tension between you and your lover all right somebody could have did like voodoo voodoo or did some type of ritual spell or something like that to stop and block you on your person to cause some type of chaos we have mars retrograde and y'all know that a lot of planets are retrograde right now but it says impulsive rage or anger hostility major blowout fights and violence so the person that could be also hitting on you is somebody that you guys got into a fight or argument with or somebody that's always upset and rage somebody that's always angry um somebody that this what the, what they say what my kids are saying crash out or crashing out i guess that's the new thing right now somebody that crashes out or somebody that likes to fight or that is violent we have causing unexplained body pains and numbness so this can be somebody that is causing you guys to have like back aches back pains numbness in your body can't feel your body okay so somebody could be doing something to your health or do like some type of health ritual on you guys we have they mock you when they feel jealous towards you all right let's pull one more and then we have tricks trickster spirit sudden loss of, of memory things end up missing so this can also be somebody that like maybe stole from you took from you try to make it seem like they don't know what's going on oh i didn't see it what are you talking about um but overall this can be multiple people or this can just be described in one person you know this is a collective reading so it's not gonna resonate all the messages may not resonate with all of you guys or maybe it does at the bottom we have hating on you spiritually hating on your spiritual or psychic gifts so somebody is trying to block your spiritual or psychic gifts trying to like so say if you're a reader and you're trying to do readings it's like your messages aren't clear or you feel tired you feel drained you feel worn out you can't focus like um you have insomnia and stuff like that because any per like well i can't speak for all readers but most readers know that you have you need to eat good you need to sleep good your sleep pattern needs to be good you need to eat good and stuff like that because that's what keeps your gifts heightened drinking water meditating all that type of stuff so if you're not doing that or you're lacking you know then that's why because somebody is coming after your gifts or trying to block your your gifts or your talents at this moment all righty so that is what i have for you collective that is your reading i love you guys send you guys lots of love if it resonated please do show me some love like share comment subscribe hit that bell if you guys would love to book with me fireintuition.com all you guys can book on my online store, mytearshaveheeledmyheart.com. All right. I love you guys. Bye.